Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb with Z-Health Performance, and today we're continuing on our discussion about ankle rehabilitation. If you are new to Z-Health, we are an education company. We specialize in working with world-class doctors, therapists, coaches, and movement professionals of all sorts from all over the world. We actually found out recently we have uh, students in over 80 countries, uh, which is always fun for us. So if you are in the field, you find this information interesting, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we have 400 plus blogs here, and we have a lot of free resources for you to discover uh, a little bit more about what it means to be a brain-based practitioner. All right, so last week we talked about the ankle. We started off with some passive mobilizations, things that you can do at home to begin reminding that your, your brain that you have an ankle, <laughs> that it has a lot of bones and joints that are supposed to move and be comfortable. Uh, so we started off with the passive movements. Now what we wanna do is move on to some very basic active range of motion exercises. Now when I say basic, please don't assume that you don't need these. If you have chronic foot or ankle issues, it is highly likely that there are some motor control problems in your foot that we may need to remedy utilizing some intentional high repetition uh, movement practice. So the things that we're gonna focus on are very simple conceptually, but you may find them fatiguing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is begin with what's called dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. All right, really, really simple idea. I'm gonna try and keep my toes relatively relaxed pull my foot and ankle up toward my knee, that's dorsiflexion, point down toward the ground, plantar flexion. So I want you to do probably between 30 and 40 repetitions of this. For if you have ankle issues, you may find that after 10 repetitions, you're getting really tired. But this is cons these are supposed to be high repetition exercises to practice movement in a non-loaded way, also to increase blood flow there. So we wanna try to get into that 30 to 50 repetition range. Now, after we have done uh, basic ankle plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, we're gonna go to a relatively neutral position and we're gonna do the same thing with our toes. We're going to flex our toes, so toe flexion and toe extension. Toe flexion, toe extension. All right, and once again, we're gonna to try to do some high repetition work just in that position. Now what we wanna do is begin combining those. So I'm gonna begin, I'm going to dorsiflex, extend my toes. Plantar flex, flex my toes. Dorsiflex, extend, plantar flex, and flex. Very simple. Now I'm gonna reverse that. I'm gonna dorsiflex, but plant, uh, flex my toes. Plantar flex the ankle, extend the toes. So I have two different versions of things that I'm working here. And remember, we're focusing not just on movement, but also will your foot obey commands <laughs> being sent by your brain? This is why it's important to do some differentiation between the ankle and what's going on with the toes. After we have done that, we now want to begin working on ankle inversion and eversion. So I'm basically now tilting my foot in, tilting my foot out. So once again, 30 to 50 repetitions here. I'm then going to repeat that in full dorsiflexion, which is gonna be challenging. You may get some pulling through your calf, and then also full plantar flexion, inverting and everting. This is a little bit harder to control because it's a movement not most, most of us are not as familiar with. Once I've done all that, I wanna include the toes. So now I'm going to do this. I'm gonna dorsiflex, I'm gonna evert and extend my toes. All right, so again, dorsiflex, evert, extend my toes. So I'm now grouping three different things together. Now from here, I can stay in that position, plantar flex, flex the toes. Extend the toes, extend the ankle. Now I'm gonna invert, and once again, flex the toes, plantar flex the ankle. So you now have a lot of different combinations that you can begin to play with. Most likely what you'll find is that when you're in an inverted position with toe flexion and going into plantar flexion, you may get cramping in your foot. Uh, you may find that one of the positions feels like you can't move at all. That's all very normal because most of us do not spend a lot of time consciously focusing on controlling our feet, which is problematic because it's what allows us to move uh, around the world or the vast majority of the population. So I'm gonna recommend that in each of these iterations or each of these versions of the exercise that you start working up toward 30 to 50 repetitions of each of those movements. 
I do not recommend that you do them all at the same time. This is something that you can put a timer on your phone uh, every hour of the day and do one iteration of these exercises. What you'll find very quickly is that within one to two weeks, you will be able to control your ankle and foot movements with far more precision than you probably have ever experienced. And because we're causing the brain and body to communicate much more intensely, this is often one of the best things that you can do uh, to really start to uh, reduce pain, uh, improve mobility and performance uh, in the ankle and foot. So it seems simple, it's just movement, but it's very powerful. So give it a shot and let us know how it works for you.